This is the third part of our discussion on the complex logarithm. So far, we have defined what is this multi-valued function, the complex logarithm, and then we discussed its branches. Okay, so uh, let's have a look. How did we define this multi-valued logarithm? So it is defined in the following way: log of z is equal to natural log of the modulus of z plus iota, the principal argument of z plus 2n pi. Now over here we can see that this n, when n varies, then the output of uh, log z varies. So for each n we have different output. So we can say that it is a multi-valued function. For each fixed complex number, we will be getting infinitely many outputs. But if we fix the value of n to be, for example, 0, then it will be a single-valued function. And for n is equal to 0, it is known as the principal value of the logarithm. Okay. Now, uh, in this module, we are going to uh, focus on the continuity and differentiability of uh, the principal value of the logarithm, which is basically a single valued function. Okay, so we can talk about its differentiability. Now, uh, let's start with the continuity of principal log. We know that uh, this uh, log is a multi valued function. Okay, so for each n, uh, we will be getting a different output. So uh, we can kind of divide the outputs according to the values of n. For n is equal to 0, we can say that this is f0. For n is equal to 1, we can say that this is f1 and up to so on. And uh, each of these outputs are separated, of course, by the line which is this negative real axis. It is basically, as we have discussed in our previous uh, discussion, it is basically the branch cut of uh, these branches. Okay, so f0, f1, f2 f minus 1, f minus 2, these are the infinite branches of this uh, multi-valued function and each branch is separated by this branch cut which is the negative real axis in this case and each branch is basically uh, continuous apart uh, from the points of the branch cut. Okay, So this is basically the branch cut and apart from uh, the points on the branch cut, every branch is a continuous function. Okay, So hence uh, we can say that uh, the principal value of the logarithm is a continuous function apart from the points on the negative real axis which is basically the branch cut of these branches. Okay, So we can say that uh, this function, uh, the principal value of the logarithm is continuous apart from these points. So that's uh, about the continuity of the principal value of the logarithm. Now let's discuss the differentiability of the principal logarithm. Okay, if we take z is equal to r e raised to power iota theta, then uh, we can write it down in the following way, uh, log of the modulus of z plus iota argument of z. So this becomes, so log of r plus iota theta, where of course theta is the principal argument. And uh, we can uh, write it down in the following way, u r theta plus iota v r theta, where u r theta is log of r and v r theta is theta. Now, we want to discuss the differentiability. So, uh, do we know any result about the differentiability of a complex valued function? Of course, let's recall that function, recall that result. So, we have this function and if the partial derivatives uh, of u and v with respect to r and theta exist, okay, so if this holds everywhere in some neighborhood and those partial derivatives are continuous at this point and satisfy these two conditions which are the polar form of the cauchy riemann equations so if these conditions hold then we say that uh, the derivative of this uh, complex valued function exists and it can be evaluated in the following way now we are going to use this result so in this case our u and our v are very very simple functions so let's calculate uh, their derivatives and let's try to find out if uh, they satisfy this, the conditions of this theorem now u r theta is log r, v r theta is theta. Now in this case, the partial derivative of u with respect to r becomes 1 over r and the partial derivative of uh, u with respect to theta is of course 0. And similarly, we can calculate uh, the partial derivative of v with respect to r is uh, 0 and the partial derivative of v with respect to theta is 1. And uh, using uh, these values, we can easily see that they satisfy uh, the Cauchy Riemann equations. In other words, r, if we multiply r with ur, of course it becomes 1. 
which is v theta okay so if we multiply u r with r we can see that it is one similarly if we multiply minus r with v r it is zero and u theta is also zero so these cauchy riemann equations are also satisfied and uh, we can easily see that these partial derivatives are uh, always continuous okay and of course uh, when whenever r is not equal to zero and this is uh, the requirement this is the requirement that uh, uh, z is not allowed to be zero because uh, log is not defined there so this is automatically satisfied okay so for every uh, so we can say that for every point on the domain these uh, conditions are satisfied let's have a look at it again so the first condition and the second conditions are satisfied now if these are satisfied then we can say that uh, what is the derivative of this uh, uh, complex valued function so e raised to power iota theta multiplied by u r plus iota v r okay now let's see how do we calculate this thing so the derivative of uh, principal value of log is equal to e raised to power iota theta u r plus iota v r and we know that uh, what is the value of u r it is 1 over r and what is the value of v r it is 0 so this becomes uh, 1 over r e raised to power iota theta and uh, of course uh, r e raised to power iota theta is uh, according to our assumption is z so we can say that uh, the derivative of principal value of the logarithm is basically 1 over z so this is kind of uh, uh, compatible with our uh, uh, result from the real analysis that the uh, derivative of uh, uh, log of x is equal to 1 over x so in this module we discussed uh, the differentiability and continuity of uh, the principal value of the logarithm in our further discussion uh, we will see uh, we will further explore uh, these complex logarithms and the principal value of the complex logarithm